Hey Jetty Rockers, Mike D here with Jetty Rocks Fishing. In this video, we're going to talk about a few things to help you catch more fish and fish like the pros, no matter what species of fish you're targeting. talk about is changing your mindset you know a lot of people what they do they just go grab a rod go grab some bait they go to their favorite spot on the bank their favorite dock or take their boat out go to a certain spot and just anchor up and throw out some dead shrimp or some live shrimp or whatever bait they're using and hope for the best you got to change that mindset if you want to catch more fish you got to know what you're targeting just don't just go fishing stop just going fishing have a plan know what you're going for what you're going to do and that'll help you out a lot and for instance let's say you're going to go fishing for big bull redfish yeah you probably could catch one if you just went out with some dead shrimp or some live shrimp or maybe some mullet you might mess up once in a while and catch one but if you want to consistently catch large big redfish you need to find the right area and fish with live blue crabs or cut mullet or big baits you know, and I'm going to teach you guys how to figure that out and what to look for at different species of fish. So the first thing you need to do is target fish. Learn your species, learn the bait for that species, find out the areas that are best where you live for those species. You can go and get hotspot maps or you can look up online or talk to local captains and, you know, just talk to different people. If you ever see a fisherman, talk to them, you know, you find out more about the area that way. But you got to stop just fishing. You need to target what you're going for. Whether it be black drum, sheep's head, trout, redfish, offshore stuff like cobia, triple tail, sharks, bottom fish. You need to know what you're going for. You need to understand that species of fish, what they like, where they live, their habits, that kind of stuff. Those are things you need to change. So you got to change your mindset another tip for y'all is to learn your tides and learn what tide is best for what species of fish you're going for an example I go fishing for pompano there to me what I found best is an outgoing tide I seem to do a lot better on a strong outgoing tide than I will on an incoming tide or slack tide so I look at a, a app on my phone. I have, there's a couple apps out there. Also, they get tide charts around at your local bait shops. You can learn your tides. And I only go out when that tide's gonna change, when it's gonna be an outgoing tide for whatever I'm targeting that day. Now, some fish, they're better on an incoming tide. Like, I love an incoming tide fishing for big redfish in the inlet. That's my, that's my favorite tide, that strong incoming tide. So when I go target the redfish, I look at my tide charts, I go out and I got that strong incoming tide. I also like a good incoming tide when I'm fishing for trout because some of the areas that I like to go up into are pretty shallow. So I need that strong incoming tide so I can get in those different areas so I can get to the places where the trout are. So that's just another tip for y'all, learn your tides. Hey guys, well another tip I have for y'all is learn your baits for the species of fish that you're targeting. Let's say you want to target sheep's head. One of the best baits to use for sheep's head is fiddler crabs. Also, sand fleas work really well. And there's also some other baits. You can use uh, mussels work really good. Barnacles, the little purple barnacles, the soft ones work really well. Limpets work good. There's a lot of different baits you can use for sheep's head. Some people do really well on shrimp. I find losing, using live shrimp for sheep head, you catch a lot of other stuff. You catch a lot of bycatch. I have caught sheep head on shrimp, but I get a lot more bycatch than I do with using sand fleas or feather crabs or the other baits that I mentioned. Also, if you're going to be targeting big redfish, you need to learn the baits for that fish. Big redfish, you guys watch this channel, you know I like live blue crabs. I'm a huge fan of big blue crabs the size of my hand for those big bruiser redfish. 
Also, mullet works really good. A big pinfish, about the size of your hand, work really well. A couple other fish, croakers work really good. Um, a spot works really good if you can get them. But in this area, I have a hard time finding enough spots to use for bait. Also in this area, for snook. If you're targeting snook, a spot is an excellent bait for snook. Big jumbo shrimp at night is really good for snook. But learn your bait for the species that you're going for. Like if you want to go for flounder, you're not going to really going to catch one on a filler crab. So you got to kind of know what you're using. Um, you want to go for flounder in this area, mud minnows are excellent. Mud, you almost can't beat a mud minnow for flounder. Or nice little finger mullet about so big. And also there's many artificial jigs that you can use to catch flounder. But learn your bait for the species that you're targeting. You know, a lot of people, they just make the mistake. They go get some dead shrimp, go out fishing. And yeah, they catch a few things, but then they get frustrated. Well, I didn't catch this and I didn't catch that. You got to kind of know what species like, what different species you're targeting, what they like. It's just like yourself. There's a few things that you like and some things you don't like. Some people like steak. Some people don't like steak. Some people like to eat vegetables and don't want to eat meat. So you got to kind of know you know what they eat what that fish you're targeting for the day what is it most likely going to eat so that's just another tip for you guys hey right, guys another tip for you guys is ambush points and structure learn what kind of structure and ambush points that you need to be fishing for the species that you're targeting let's say sheep's head you know sheep's head are going to be around rocks pilings places with a lot of barnacles and oysters you can also find them on shells that drop off real quick that have a lot of uh, undergrowth on them a lot of uh, barnacles and stuff like that you can find them there uh, say you're targeting trout trout love to get in eddies and they love to get behind things drop-offs are excellent for trout docks are excellent for trout one of my favorite spots to fish for trout when I have an oyster bar, a point that comes off to a nice drop off where I have some fast current, that's my favorite place to look for trout. If I find those kind of areas, I know that my chances of catching a big trout are pretty good. And um, say I'm targeting triple tail. You know, triple tail, they're structure oriented. They like things that are floating. So you're gonna look for buoys. Anything that's floating in the ocean, if you find weeds, a floating board I have found triple tail under floating balloons that someone has let off and has come back down on top of the water I've caught nice triple tail on stuff like that so you need to find for whatever fish that you're fishing for whatever you want to target you need to find that structure or that ambush point that they look for what is that fish going to need to hide so he can get its food for the day what does it need what does that fish need that's what you kind of need to think of a little bit when you're going out fishing. Like say you want to go catch a trout. You're just not going to go in the middle of the channel and throw out a line and catch a trout. You might. Every dog does get a bone. Every dog has its day. But not likely. If you want to be consistent catching trout or catching redfish or catching snook, you need to learn what structure, what they're looking for, what their ambush points are. And that'll help you guys out a whole lot. Another good tip for you guys is the time of day to go fishing. What are the best times during the day to go? The absolute best scenario for me is early morning out going tide. That is my favorite, favorite time to go fishing. If I can catch that strong outgoing first thing in the morning, that's my favorite. I also like a nice evening outgoing if I can find that but some species it doesn't matter like sheep's head I like outgoing tide for sheep's head I usually will not fish during an incoming tide but any time of day that outgoing tide is I've done really good with sheep's head same thing with a triple tail any time of day I've done pretty good with them but that's about the only two species of fish that I've done that I can catch all day long and it doesn't seem to matter redfish I've always done really good in the early morning or in the evening. The middle of the day doesn't seem to do as well. Trout, right smack dab is the high point of the sun, is at its highest point, I've done my best. When I go trout fishing during the summer, especially if I'm using live croakers, I want a strong incoming tide so I can get in some of those really hard to get areas 
and I like the middle of the day. That's my favorite time to trout fish. I seem to catch bigger, better trout in the very heat of the day. That's my opinion and, and for this area. So learn your species of fish that you want to target and find out what time of day is better for that species. Like if you're surf fishing, early morning is the best time to catch uh, pompano and whiting. I have a buddy of mine that goes fishing all the time and he does great in that first part of the morning till about maybe 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the morning, then it kind of slows off. And then again, it picks back up in the evening time. So learn your time of day, what's best for you, and that'll help you guys out a lot. All right guys, the last tip I have for y'all, and I have seen this a few times, that's the only reason why I'm gonna put this in this video, and I'm gonna bring this up. Match your tackle for what you're fishing for. Let's say you're going to fish for, you're gonna go fish for triple tail. This is about what you want. You want a lot nice, medium heavy outfit. This is a, a 2500 series reel, this is Shimano. And I got 20 pound test on here. This is perfect for free lining, for sight casting. And believe it or not, this little setup will handle a pretty nice sized fish. If you don't want to be going for triple tail and using something like this. It's just not practical. I mean, this has its place, believe me, it does, but for doing something like triple tail fishing or, or free lining on the flats for trout, or even sheephead fishing around the pilings, this really isn't the setup. I've seen people try to use stuff like this, but if you want to catch more and better fish, match your tackle to what you're fishing for. This is, this is my offshore stuff. This is what I use for everything offshore. I even use this for cobia, I use it for sharks, and I also use it for the big redfish in the inlet. So match your tackle guys, use the appropriate tackle for the species of fish that you're targeting. Well hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope some of you found this very informative. I know some of my viewers probably already know a lot of this stuff. For those of you who don't, I hope this video helps you guys out a little bit. I know these are the tactics that I was taught years ago and that changed my life tremendously as far as fishing. As soon as I stopped just fishing and started targeting, and learning my species, what each species looks for, as far as structure, as far as food, tides, time of day, it helped me out tremendously. Back when I was a commercial fisherman, it helped me out. Now as a recreational fisherman and a YouTube fisherman, it helps me out tremendously. So hopefully these tips will help you guys out and improve you all's catch, and you'll catch more fish, which we really want to do. I hope each and every one of you all you know, catch more fish and have a good time out there with your families. That's what it's all about, guys. Well, y'all, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for subscribing to this channel. I appreciate each and every one of you very much. I truly do. We had just hit 4,000 subscribers, and that's awesome. I mean, I'm truly humbled by you all, and I consider each and every one of you all part of my family, and I love each and every one of you guys. I really do, and I appreciate you all very much. If all of you have watched these videos and you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Become part of the family. Become a Jetty Rocker and send me comments and just become part of the team, part of the family. It's a cool thing. Well, guys, I get to see you again soon here on the water, which I hopefully really soon. Hopefully these fronts will stop coming through and I can get out there and catch some fish. Until then, y'all. Hey Jerry Rockers, thank you very much for watching this video. I'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my Facebook page at Jetty Rocks Fishing and also my Instagram page. I also have a JRF apparel page which will send you a link to my Teespring page where I have some cool shirts and some mug. I appreciate you guys very much. Go check out the description in the bottom of this video. I'll have the links. Tight lines, Jetty Rockers.